I often find myself in a situation where I am programming while streaming. And I've received feedback from programmers attempting to follow along that this can be quite difficult. First, especially for programmers with a limited amount of screen space, you often have the streaming video on one side of your screen and your IDE on the other side, which means the code in the video is going to be very tiny and often quite blurry. Second, if the programmer who is streaming their code is moving at a pace that is hard to keep up with, it can be a little difficult as the programmer who is streaming may move on to the next file and you're not quite ready. And lastly, as, as is the case with copying any code, you're going to make mistakes, possibly a lot of them. So I wanted to find a solution that would make following along a coding streaming session a lot easier. I did some research and found a series of great solutions, but none that I was quite happy with that would address all those issues. I also wanted to make sure that the solution did not require programmers to either use a specific IDE or install software or plugins. Instead, I ended up writing a Visual Studio Code extension that would allow the streaming programmer to provide real-time plain text copies of the code that they are working on while they stream. The programmer who is leading the streaming session will need to use Visual Studio Code and install and activate the Visual Studio Code extension and students simply need to open a browser tab with the specific URL. Now as the programmer types and creates coding files, those files will be made available to the programmer following along in a plain text, copyable, scalable version. That way, programmers following along can choose how large the code is, it will remain crisp, it will be copyable, and they can toggle between the files that they want to see at any given time. So let's just run a quick demo here. So I have here Visual Studio Code on the right and the code viewer on the left. I have a basic index.html file open and you can see as I add to my code, So let's just walk through a basic demo. So on my right here, I have Visual Studio Code. My live code extension has already been installed and I just need to activate it. So to execute a Visual Studio Code command, I push Command Shift P and the code is live code activate. You can see in the bottom right, actually right behind me, a little notification will let you know that it's on. And in the Visual Studio Code status bar, there is an icon just reminding you that it's running. Now, as I code, the code in the Live Code Viewer is updated as I code. Also, if I switch to another file and make a change, you can see in the live code viewer, I now have a new tab with the second file that is being coded. And as the programmer following along, I can toggle between the two. And as I update, the code is updated. Then when I'm done my streaming session, I simply need to deactivate. So I just go to live code deactivate. And if I wanna clear all the code from my session, I can go to my live code reset command. 